The recent night flight tests of the MC-21 mid-range airliner prototype, outfitted with external lighting systems entirely manufactured in Russia, significantly advanced the aircraft's certification process. These evaluations significantly enhanced the operational safety of the aircraft in low visibility and nighttime conditions. Comprehensive data on the lighting system's performance during all critical phases of flight was obtained through the evaluation of various flight stages, including taxiing to the runway, takeoff, approach, landing, and taxiing off the runway. The direction of the light beams and the illumination levels on the runway surface generated by the landing and taxi lights were evaluated by the pilots. The potential glare effects of active lights, including the landing lamps, fuselage and pulse beacons, and aeronautical navigation lights, were also investigated. The MC-21's external lighting, which includes landing lights, runway turn lights, and taxi lights, is wholly domestically developed by the Scientific and Production Center, NII Mikroprobor. The tests verified the reliability and efficiency of these systems. This aspect is particularly significant because robust lighting is essential for the pilot's clear vision of runway environments, safe ground maneuvering, and the identification of the airplane by other aircraft and air traffic controllers. The pulse beacons are visible from distances exceeding 40 kilometers during flight, which is an intriguing technical feature. This long-range visibility improves the aircraft's detectability in controlled airspace, aiding in navigation and preventing collisions, thereby enhancing safety. This testing is significant because it verifies the Russian aviation industry's ability to manufacture critical avionics and illumination systems domestically. The certification of these systems is a substantial accomplishment that enhances the competitiveness and independence of Russian civil aviation products such as the MC-21, given the emphasis on self-sufficiency in technology and the restrictions on imports due to political issues. It also guarantees that the aircraft complies with the international safety standards necessary for commercial operation in a variety of conditions, such as nocturnal flights. There are no well-documented cases in which accidents have been solely caused by failures in external aircraft lighting systems. However, when combined with human factors or other failures, lighting issues have contributed to incidents. Eastern Airlines Flight 401 in 1972 is a historical example of lighting that is noteworthy. The faulty landing gear light caused the flight crew to become distracted, resulting in the accident. While attempting to resolve the malfunctioning light, the pilots failed to notice a gradual, unintended descent that ultimately led to the accident. The malfunctioning light did not cause the accident. Instead, it acted as a catalyst for distraction, leading to a loss of situational awareness. This incident brought home the value of a reliable and obviously functioning cockpit and external lighting for safe operation, particularly in low visibility or nighttime conditions. Occasionally, lighting is indirectly involved in other incidents, such as the inability to accurately identify aircraft positions during ground operations, confusion during taxiing, or visibility issues on runways. Therefore, the objective of rigorous certification and testing of aircraft external illumination, which encompasses landing lights, taxi lights, navigation lights, and pulse beacons, is to prevent visibility-related hazards and guarantee operational safety. The testing procedures for the external lighting system of the MC-21 aircraft are comprehensive and essential to the certification process. These evaluations are conducted during various flight phases, including taxiing to the runway, takeoff, approach, landing, and taxiing off the runway. Pilots evaluate the direction of the light beams, the level of runway surface illumination generated by the landing and transit lights, and the impact of glare from operating lights, such as landing lamps, fuselage pulse beacons, and aeronautical navigation lights. This procedure guarantees that the lighting system operates efficiently and consistently in all illumination conditions that may arise during low visibility operations and at night. To satisfy regulatory requirements, 
these systems must exhibit robustness and durability in addition to operational efficiency. This visibility is crucial for the safe navigation and collision avoidance of the aircraft. Manufacturers such as Boeing, Airbus, and Embraer adhere to broadly similar principles in their external illumination testing procedures, which are influenced by international certification standards established by organizations such as the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, and ESA, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. During their testing, which encompasses various flight phases and environmental conditions, they verify operational checks, beam alignment, light intensity, and color conformance. These procedures also involve structural testing to guarantee that the lighting and its fixtures can withstand operational stresses. Differences are primarily the result of the technologies used and the unique requirements of certification authorities. Boeing and Airbus frequently implement sophisticated LED and strobe illumination and prioritize pilot interfaces and onboard systems integration. Embraer prioritizes system reliability and maintainability in its illumination certification process, with a focus on regional aircraft. However, the MC-21 testing demonstrates the strategic value of technological independence in Russia's aviation industry by emphasizing domestic production and technology substitution. In summary, the MC-21's illumination testing adheres closely to international aviation safety principles. However, it also holds distinctive importance in promoting Russia's overarching objectives of industrial sovereignty and self-reliance in civil aviation. The aircraft undergoes an exhaustive evaluation to guarantee that it complies with global safety standards for low visibility and nighttime operations, similar to its Boeing, Airbus, and Embraer counterparts. However, the evaluation places a particular emphasis on the validation of domestically produced systems. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.